Hello everyone, I'm Pierre bringing you another RenPy tutorial. Today we're going to talk about displayables and specifically some advanced displayables such as dynamic images, live composites, and condition switches. Now displayables are basically anything that we can show the user. So you usually would think of an image when you think of that. And any displayable can be saved as an image with the image statement. But when you think of an image, you think of something still. Images don't have to be still. They can include animation, like when we talked about ATL. They can include changes based on what a variable is. And they can include more than one image laid over on top of each other. So we have a displayable object can be either a string with a dot in it, so that's his file name, a color with a hexadecimal string like that, like this, so 000 would be black, FFF would be white, and they have some other, you know, uh, formats for the colors, and then the, the most interesting part is an image name. So what you can do is you can have an image that's very complicated, but once you've saved it to an image name, then you can use that image as an individual piece altogether. So to show you what I mean, I'm going to be using the limo sprite from Ocean Pearls, an upcoming visual novel by Chouette. Here's the description she gave me for it. Ocean Pearls is an atome about Nova, a young woman who falls into the ocean and finds herself by a series of unfortunate events, mysteriously engaged to one of five potential ocean kings. Its genres include romance, drama, comedy, and even a little bit of mystery as she and each respective king try to annul their engagement. So that sounds pretty interesting. Let's see limos here. So here's the limos animation, which is something she provided as a GIF file. And as we can see, it shows him talking, it shows him blinking, changing expressions, stuff like that. So this is basically what it looks like, but it's in here in a bunch of different images. So we have a base like this without any face. And then we have different pieces of expressions to use. So I'm not going to even show you any code yet. I'm just going to do the demo and I want to show you what is achievable. If I can get my hold on. Looks like it forgot where to go. And system editor. Okay, so there we go. Tutorial for displayables. Let's run it. So here's Lemos. I've obviously got all the pieces together. You saw he just blinked. And if I click right here, he's going to change from a happy expression like that to a surprised one. And he's going to start talking. Now you can see that the eyes are going independently of the mouth because they're, they're changing in different relationship to each other. So what we're doing is using something called a live composite to create this. And a live composite is in the tutorials, in the documentation here, right here. A live composite, you give it the size first, then you give it a series of pairs. And these pairs are first a position where the left hand side of that image is going to start, and second, a, an image itself. Now these are all using simple images, but I've used some more complicated ones. So 
Let's take a look at the code. This is my script, by the way. This is all I did. I said show Lemos, and then we changed his expression from happy to surprise, and we set his talking to be true. By the way, Chouette, if it's called Lemos instead of Lemos, I so apologize. I really do. A big thank you to her for letting me use her sprites. Um, I, I'm going to be putting links to her web, her project website and her Twitter in the more information section. So be sure to check it out. Okay, plug over. Um, so everything we're doing here is controlled by three variables here. Demos, Lemos ears or Lemos ears, which is base, whether we use the base or the base with the, these little fin ears on it or not. Lemos talking, which is either true or false. So you saw him not talking and you saw him talking. And then Lemos expression, which can be angry, happy, sad, or surprised. So let's talk about what's going on right here first. This is the path to the item. So Lemos right there. And then we go through his expression. So if he's happy, then it'll go into the happy folder and so on. And then if we notice how these files are named, the angry one starts with angry for each one of them and then has this 000s and then it has 000 and then zero through four based on whether it's the eyebrow, one of the mouth movements or the eyes. And you will see in here that that same pattern is being followed for happy, for sad, and for surprised. We also have an eyes closed image and we have of course the animation that I showed you earlier. But the important part is that these images, the pieces of the expression are named regularly. So I can get away with doing what is called a dynamic image and that is an image with interpolation, an image that is a link for the file name or whatever that is using interpolation. So right here, it's putting happy in here, the very first time we call it, and it's putting happy in here. And as you'll see, that is giving us the right mouth picture based on what the expression is. This is the exact same thing, except it's just an animation instead. This eyes thing is a little bit more complicated because it does a double blink and it has this choice here, so it has some randomness involved. What the choice function, uh, not function, attribute or whatever does is it will pick one of these options each time it goes through. And so it might be two seconds, it might be 3.1 seconds, it might be 4.2 seconds before we start our double blink. Now here's the live composite. And I, as you can see, I have my size 420 by 700. And then I have a series of positions and images. And the images are in some cases very simple like this one. This is just the eyebrows. It's once again, it's the dynamic image uh, with the interpolation. But what is this condition switch here thing? Well, that's also another kind of displayable that I wanted to talk about. A condition switch is something where we will check a variable or multiple variables, or we'll just check however many conditions you give it. And the first condition we find that is true, we will display the image associated with it because once again, it's coming in pairs. So condition, image, condition, image. But remember, I said that for an image, 
we can use Lemo's mouth still, and which is this thing, or we can use Lemo's mouth talking, which is this whole thing for an image because that's what it is. That is a displayable. So anything that takes a displayable can take an image that you have defined no matter how complicated it is. The other thing about the condition switch that you need to know is that the last condition should always be true. It is an error for none of them to come up true because then it won't have anything to display and it'll RenPy will be very confused. Um, so that's an error. And to avoid that, you have two options. You can either be super careful with your variables to make sure that the at least one condition is always true, or you can just make, choose a default and make that one your, make that one your uh, last one and associated with true. So if Lemos ears is false, that is if this does not evaluate to true, then we don't go, then we continue down the list and we look at this and we say, well, this is true. Of course it's right. So it will always catch every single time and do this when there's nothing else going on. So I'm talking about like if you have 15 different conditions going on, you can do it that way. But always remain, remember to make the last one true because otherwise you're going to end up with some weird bugs and you won't, you'll have trouble tracking them down. And then, so, the, I mean, that's pretty much it. The live composite puts things on in order. So this base is obviously below everything else. The other things don't overlap with each other, but if they did, it would be the eyebrow first, then the mouth, then the eyes. So that is how you do live composites. That is how you do condition switches. And that is how you do dynamic images with interpolation. Uh, I hope you guys found this interesting and helpful. And I hope you check out Ocean Pearls when it comes out.